today we are going to talk about control statement and loops um, if condition is in a control statement and if you are familiar with other programming language it's nothing it's very simple um, the keyword for if condition is like if and followed by conditions in other programming language C, C++ we need to put parenthesis condition inside parenthesis okay something like this but in script programming language you really no need to provide this so you just need to start the condition followed it by condition and then open this and the body of the condition okay else and body of the else block So let's see a simple example. So I have a name called DOG doc. Okay. Um, if the name equal to God, print God. print dot okay suppose if you want to add in a compound condition if name is god or dog print god otherwise print dog or like print nothing okay don't worry about it actually what we are printing just understand the concepts okay this is a kind of simple if condition so you really can um, it's nothing complicated here and we really don't want to spend much time on this and we'll uh, get into for loop which is more important so now we will see for loop okay in the for loop one is classical method and for in method for in okay so classical method so we will take an example and then look at like i just have an array of integer okay i wanted to i have an array of integer i wanted to sum the array of integers how to do that we are okay int array and then we have something called one two three four five i just wanted to sum okay there are many ways like we'll look into our classical way for variable index into zero i n index less than int array dot count um, and then index plus plus okay then print uh, we no need to print it we just need to sum it we will have another variable which is used to sum sum plus equal to uh, index index ok and here array so now we will print the sum ok so it will print 15 ok so what is the other thing how to do the same thing in foreign loop so in for we will have now something called total which says is 0 and for in loop we will use value in um, int array so we have value and then total plus equal to value and then print the total so it will give 15 so it's very simple like for in loop provides a more convenient and the elegant uh, way of writing code uh, rather going for the uh, going with the classical approach so the same for in loop can be used with dictionaries so we'll talk about uh, dictionaries with for loop we have a dictionary uh, called uh, student yeah, student uh, role number one okay um, 
scores mark in max uh, 98 the student roll number with two scores mark in max 100 the student roll number three scores mark um, 97 student four scores marks uh, 56 in mathematics okay so it's it's simple example I just wanted to use fall in loop and kind of uh, add uh, add given uh, the students who has uh, roll number even roll number I'm going to accumulate the marks why you don't ask me so just for um, like making use of for in loop for dictionary so I'm doing this for we have uh, roll number and mark m a t s max mark okay in student <clears throat> so first we need to check uh, the null number is even number or not okay so equal to zero okay zero uh, if it is zero then uh, we just need to accumulate the marks before that we need to sum equal to zero sum plus equal to MATHS max then print max sorry we need to print sum 156 so 2 is 100 56 is 150 is total so this simple it is so we have uh, the roll number is mapped to the key that is nothing but the roll number of the student and the max mark is mapped to the second value uh, the value the key is mapped to roll number the value is mapped to the mark max okay and then we are just checking roll number i see on or not if it is even we are summing it and printing it so that's simple uh, like using um, for in loop to iterate through dictionary arrays in uh, swift programming language and um, while loop and repeat while loop also kind of uh, easy it's the uh, same way uh, while um, it's a condition it's like um, i less than 10 and then loop through you just say uh, where um, i could do zero okay um, that's it you just say something here print um, i just print i okay i don't know what is this okay it's going in termination like i need to say I press plus okay, let's keep printing actually I need to start this okay that's it the same uh, repeat while is nothing complicated same way but you all know it will execute once I press plus that's it so that's all about loops in programming language